Jabari Young covers the Spurs for the San Antonio Express News and joins us with more on Parker's return and what's head, ahead tonight, rather. Uh, appreciate the time, Jabari. First of all, in terms of, of minutes tonight, what's the expectation for Tony to uh, play? Well, Greg Popovich said they'll negotiate uh, the, the <laughs> minutes. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking around uh, 15, 20 minutes, you know what I mean, uh, around that time. Uh, listen, that's a serious injury he's coming back from. You don't want to rush him back uh, because you're going to need Tony Parker. You know, I've always said Tony Parker is an extension of Greg Popovich while he's on the floor. He knows where, th where, where this offense needs to be. He knows where guys need to be uh, when he's running the show. So, uh, obviously, you know, you don't want to put too much on him. you got a home-and-home -home series against the Memphis Grizzlies, and then you got a rematch <coughs> against the Oklahoma City Thunder on Sunday. So I'm looking around that 20-minute mark, which will be my time. He shot the ball really well last season. People may, may have forgot that. 47% oh, or so from the field as a point guard which is a, a good number these days. What do they hope he does for this team when he's completely whole again playing regular minutes aside from putting everybody in the guard rotation back where they belong? Same thing he gets, did against the Memphis Grizzlies in that playoffs. You know, when, when it's time to hit big shots and he's open, you know, from that corner, and if he's open from the three, take that shot, make that shot. You know, that mid-range game, take that shot, make that shot. You know, that pick and roll with LaMarcus Aldridge, who he alluded to, he enjoys playing with LaMarcus Aldridge, get him involved, you know, get that pick and roll action going with him. And if he's open, take the shot, make the shot, and just be Tony Parker. You know, he's not what he used to be. He can't get to the hole, you know, as consistently as he's there using that speed. So you just want him to be that guy. Be the general that he's always going to, that he's always known to be uh, within this Spurs offense. You don't need him to do too much, but at the same time, until Kawhi Leonard gets back, you still need him to be aggressive uh, when he finds it. Because right now, the ball's going through LaMarcus Aldridge. He's confident. You don't want to take that confidence away. But having Tony Parker back in the lineup again is going to be huge for their offense. I'm going to ask you about Aldridge here in a moment. But uh, as one key member of the roster returns from his quad injury, the key member of the roster, Kawhi Leonard, remains out with quadriceps tendinopathy. Greg Popovich has been, uh, it depends on how you interpret this, vague, cryptic, possibly even frustrated about Leonard's progress. Is there reason to be concerned about the pace of his recovery or are the Spurs using the same caution they applied to Parker's return here? It's the same caution, but what do you do when uh, we need questions? They send out Dr. Tony Parker to answer, and he That's said right. he's been working out with Kawhi Leonard. Uh, he's been working out with Matt Bonner as well as Tim Duncan early today, what Tony Parker said, and he said he looked good. Uh, and he, he put a time frame on it in three weeks, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. You know, listen, I expected him to be back sooner uh, rather than, you know, this, this, this tough point of the season. But, uh, you know, you want to make sure that he's 100%, and that you can't blame the Spurs for that. You can't blame Kawhi Leonard for that. It's his career. It's his body. You want to make sure that he's healthy. Uh, but if that three-week time frame is good, I mean, listen, he's graduated to that three-on-three, five-on-five contact drill type stuff, and that is a positive because now that the man's on the court with a ball in his hand with other people around him, you can only say that he's closer and closer to returning back. So I'd be surprised if it's not uh, early next month or, or at, at least by the middle of next month that he's uh, back on the court. And if not, then the Spurs got to start providing some serious answers because then you know, we're all going to be wondering what the heck is going on with Kawhi Leonard. Absolutely. You mentioned Parker uh, talked about enjoying playing with LaMarcus Aldridge. There were some eyebrows raised when the Spurs extended Aldridge in the preseason but he has been their horse offensively so far how do they hope his role the way it's worked out to this point in the season translates when Kawhi does return and presumably becomes the guy again well, that's the big question. You know, how are these two guys going to coexist? We obviously know you want the ball in Kawhi Leonard's hand. And he, listen, he's, he's earned that right. He's paid his dues. He is the man on this team. And when that last shot comes, you want Kawhi Leonard taking it because he's going to give it to you both ways uh, on the offensive and decent defensive end of the floor. But at the same time, you can't take away what LaMarcus Aldridge is doing. He needs to touch the ball. He needs to get in his spots in that post. You need to keep this man confident because you cannot win a championship. Uh, I repeat, you cannot dethrone the champions in the Golden State Warriors unless you have a confident LaMarcus Aldridge playing the way that he knows how to play. We obviously saw what he did against the Warriors last season. He was basically a non-factor. You need him to be confident going into a, a series like that, or even if you have to go through Houston. You need him to be confident, and so that's going to be a, a work in progress, but I think it falls more on Kawhi Leonard to make sure that the guys on his team, this is his team, make sure that they don't fall when he returns, because if they do, then you're going to have to start wondering if this is a long-term relationship that can last, but I don't think it will. Greg Popovich Popovich gets paid millions of dollars to make sure that it works, <laughs> and I think they'll find a way to make it work. Going to be interesting, and in the meantime, even despite the injuries, the Spurs have the third best record in the Western Conference once again. Uh, Jabari Young with us from the San Antonio Express News. Appreciate the time. Anytime.